special guest. I'm sitting next to my mom. Hi, mom. I came for a camera. I should not really fit on the camera. So, um, since today is National Best Friends Day, I thought that I took all my friends. Well, my mom's a best friend, obviously. So, she knows that. But, um, I'll talk to my friends at home that I really miss, that I can't see when I want to. So, I'll start from the beginning. Uh, back in junior middle school, I have a friend named Allie and Jenna. Those girls are, like, my ultimate friends. I love them a lot. Uh, Jenna is, like, my ultimate friend that I've been close to, because me, me and her always hung out, always talked. Me and her, we had twin day in school, and me and her were always twins. I did with Allie, too, but she's, like, my ultimate, those two girls are, like, my best friends. Like, I still talk to Allie, um, I talk to Jenna once in a while. And those two girls, we were connected, like, through Mr. Tears. We were all connected, we all had fun, went to this house all the time, and we just had fun. So those two girls are, like, my, my friends that I could always count on, so I'm thankful for that. Um, now when I went to high school, I was really close friends back in high school with Kelly and Stephanie. Us three, we always hung out. We always laughed. We did we did a lot together. We some movies, bowling, went to this house, parties, birthday parties, summer parties. I remember back in Staten Island, uh, I lived in a, an apartment, and it was me, Kelly, Stephanie, obviously. I had a friend named Jenna, my cousin Natasha. We were, I had, I had a summer party with those girls. And we all just sat down and watched TV. We watched Insidious, which is a very scary movie, but it was fun to watch. We all screamed, and my dad scared us a lot. I actually, we actually sat around the house scaring us. But other than that, it was I'm really happy to have those girls in my life. And the girl you heard, Amber, she's, she's like one of my best friends that I talk to more. She, uh, she's an upstairs neighbor back in Staten Island, and that's where we first met, and I, I actually love, love Amber, she's an awesome person, but to tell you Stephanie, we, we, us three, we were so close, we had fun, we joked around in Latin school, we get in trouble sometimes, but we did it together, and that's what matters, so, I would think let's have those girls in my life. Now we want to the guys. The first time I met was Joe. You guys know I do it. Subscribe to his channel and watch his videos. He's awesome. He was your game in many places. Because you guys know that. Um, but Joe is very funny. A lot of fun. He's, he's like the most perfect guy you could talk to when you want to. Like, he's. I'm very supportive of his of what he wants to live his life. I support him all the way. I care about him a lot. And he is a very he's very can I say interesting to laugh at. <laughs> I mean he does these funny jokes and these funny comments and it's like you cannot laugh at his jokes. That's like like impossible to do. Like, he just does these funny jokes you just have to laugh at. You cannot laugh at his jokes. Like, like impossible. You can't like a laugh with him. So, Joe's pretty awesome. I'm happy for Joe. I'm, like, really happy to have Joe in my life. Um, I'm sure you guys know. He's making my party videos. He plays just dance. He's also a really good, good guy. So, I'm sure you guys know him. So, I'm sure you guys his channel. Watch his videos and comment on it. Put good comments, guys. Not bad comments. So, anyway, but, yeah, Joe's an awesome guy. I'm just happy, happy, happy in my life. Moving on to Jordan. Jordan, how can I put Jordan as hilarious? 
like he does these Grinch comments and Jim Carrey impressions that makes me laugh so much that I cannot laugh at it. It's like hard not to like hold your laugh back when it comes to Jordan doing these impressions. Like he does these so much impressions that I just have to laugh at it. You cannot laugh at his impressions, guys. He's actually really good at it, I have to say. Um, Jordan is like a great person. He supports you along the way. I support him. He's a great guy to be friends with. I mean, I met him in job club and we just started bonding, hanging out, talking, chatting. And he became really close, so I'm having a friend in my life. He's a good friend. He's he's an awesome guy. I guess he's a good friend of Alika. Alika is a nice girl. She's very sweet. She's very kind. I'm happy that her and Jordan are together because them two are a great couple. I think they they are so sweet together and I think it's happy that they're together. I think they're together for about six years now. And I'm really happy they're together, so I'm really happy for them that they have each other. And Alika's also, I call her my sis because she, me and her became really close since Jow Club when I first met her. And we started talking, chatting, texting, calling. And I'm really happy to have her in my life, so I'm really happy to have Alika as my sis. I couldn't live my life without her. Um, now, moving on to Borum, who we call B Man. Guys, forgive my voice, I have a cough last night, so my voice sounds bad. Just a side note, just I'm sorry about that. Uh, but to Borum, he's, he's very funny. A lot of fun to hang out with. I mean, we played Among Us with him, and he's actually really fun to hang out with. I mean, he's a lot of fun. He's really funny, too. It's like, Borum's like the man of the group. He's like, he's like the... The, like, the constant man to talk to. Like, he... He knows how to make you laugh when you least expect it. If you just want to laugh, he helps you. He makes you laugh when you're, like, feeling sad or just need to laugh. He's the guy. <clears throat> like, he's... He's hilarious. I like Borm. He's a lot of fun. So I'm really happy about that Borm as my friend. Moving on to the big man. Matt. Matt's the man, too. <laughs> he's very funny. He's a lot of fun to play among us with. And he's also very sweet, too. Like, when I was upset, he helped me along the way. He talked to me, made sure I was alright. And he's very, very sweet. He's a very sweet guy. I like Matt. He's very sweet. So I'm very proud to Matt in my life. He's a lot of fun, and he's a great oh, friend. Good. YouTube, mommy. YouTube. Today's National Friends Day, mommy. Anyway, so, uh, now. On to, on to William. I met William, I think, the day I was hanging out with Jordan at the mall. He's cool. I like William. He's a really cool guy. He is sweet too. Like I, I talk to him once in a while. He says hey, I say hey. So we chat. So what is cool? Now I'll tell my girl Serena. Serena is my girl. She's very funny. I mean, we we called each other. She called me yesterday and we chatted for a while. And she told me secrets about hers and I told my secrets. Hey guys, don't get me wrong, I do love Ali, Jenna, and Alika, but I think Serena's the girl I could, like, talk to when she's, like, when she's home alone or she's, like, out with someone. She calls me once in a while to talk to me, so I'm very happy to have Serena in my life. And that's pretty much all I gotta say. Now, one more friend that I have to tell you about, his name is Joseph, he's from Ohio. He's really funny. He's a very sweet guy. He, uh, we talk once in a while, a lot. I mean, a lot. And he's very funny. He's, he's, he's the one that I could talk to more than anybody else. I, mean, I do have all my guy friends back at home, don't get me wrong. But Joseph's really funny. He's a lot of fun to talk to. 
he's he's really funny. I mean, he's he's a lot of fun to talk to. I mean, every time when I'm like home alone or just like sitting out in my, my room or whatever, he calls me. He just makes these funny jokes and just talks to me. Like he's he's a lot of he's a good friend. I'm very happy to have Joseph as my best friend. I mean, I go. I know you guys see a lot of my TikToks, uh, live chats. So Joe's really funny. I'm like I'm like. I'm glad Joseph has my good friend. That's, that's that's nothing to it. All right, guys. So that's all the friends I could I could talk to you about. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channels, comment in the videos, and as well subscribe to my channel as well. I'll do more dance videos soon. I promise you. And uh, we'll just make more videos. All right, guys. That's all. So I wanna say. Um, for all my friends out there, thank you for being in my life. I appreciate you all for all you've done. Thank you for your support, and I'm very happy to have you guys in my life. And hopefully I will see you soon. I promise you, I will come visit. I don't know when, but it will happen. When I find out, I'll let you know. Alright guys, so, have a special, special friends to all the friends out there. Love you all. Keep on dancing. This is Fresh for Dancing. Peace love all. Keep on dancing. Hmm. Special friends. See ya. Bye. See my mom. Bye. <laughs> Peace out. Show him your eyes. He never said we were innocent. Now I'm pacing and my heart is racing. Don't know what to do. It's your birthday. We gonna say it loud. Today is your birthday. I know you're so proud. Happy today is your birthday. We gonna turn out. drinking problem. No, I've pretty much got it figured out. <laughs> What's your favorite beer? An open one. <laughs> and how do you know when you've had too much? I run out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to an AA meeting? AA is for quitters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Dunn, I was wondering, what, what is it that you do for a living? I'm a, I'm a comedian. Oh, <gasps> you are? Yeah. You got one of them catchphrases? Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a ventriloquist. Oh, you don't eat meat? <laughs> that I want it that way. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. I never want to hear you say, I want it that way. If I got to take care of this. I'm going to say this one time. You make a move on him, you'll be dead before you hit the ground. You understand me? Two stinks. Grow up! <laughs> hey, do you want me to have to repeat the 11th grade? Or are you gonna drop out of the dance contest and give me my partner back? Well, I need the credit. I have to win. Well, you're not gonna. <laughs> huh? Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss. Now I gotta what? Nothing, forget it. No, no, no. Now I gotta what? No. Why is it suddenly so important for everyone to keep me in check? Because I don't want you to be what other people think that you are. What? A monster? Sorry to disappoint you, Elena, but last time I checked, I was still a vampire. Yes, I wish that you didn't have to act like one. I am not Stefan. How about you stop trying to turn me into a 